stumbles and brings it away and a break is on now for Leicester because United rushed men up in support of that last attack it's well now. Whitworth going outside on his right Steve Whitworth drove it well just wide there were two boots that could have had that one Worthington might have got there Garland certainly might have got there it was a great run out from Weller Whitworth to drive never having scored a goal in his life hit it low Garland only needed to make contact and that would have been one Ryan Greenock a lot of responsibility on him this afternoon though he's only 24 he's the old man of the back line apart from Stepney of course three fellows that uh, Greenock plays with are all 19 years old Worthington down for Weller Weller attacking Alberston now McElroy did well did very well here's Garland yes yes sir oh he measured that one to an inch superb goal by Chris Garland which breaks a non-scoring run stretching back some eight games one nothing Leicester eight minutes of the game gone Garland starting it feeding the ball to Weller took on Alderston did him took on McElroy a measured cross far post Garland measured his header and beat Stepney all ends up Jimmy Greenoff turned against Wallet cut it well for Copper no way he's going to get past Rope on the outside Rope enjoying this there's a good grin on his face in these little personal battle he's having with an excellent winner Pierce Coppell again oh he did it this time it's more like it but the cross ball lacked the finesse that the move started with it's Alberston now McElroy a little bit of space he ran back into trouble did well oh that really had a few hearts in a few mouths then that drive from McElroy across the face of the goals Orangeon got a hand and Sims came so close then or it looked from here so close to banging the ball in his own net Yes. okay to the utter surprise of uh, Yes, Pearson. Nicole, good jump again. Oh, this kick, Worthington. Alderson, good ball. Garland. Away, closing up a bit. There's a gap now. Chip in, Worthington. I don't know who he hit then. And Samuels to blast it. Oh. What a drive that was from Samuels. But the most important tackle made in that goal mouth then was the one that Brian Greenoff made coming back to stop the first Leicester attack. And the drive from Samuels. Uh, no, you stubbed that a bit, so I'm a bit, a bit disappointed there. Yeah, the old bouncing bomb coming in there. Steve Sims then to whack this. Garland got a touch. Earl. Worthington, yes! Oh. Goal again, Worthington almost had himself another one then. That was beautifully done. Ball knocked down to him, a first-timer, beat Stepney, knew he got no chance, and it comes back off the corner post. And now Propel attacking for United. Daly. McElroy. Nickel. Bad place to lose the ball, but the referee says that Alderson handled it. He reckoned it came off his thigh. Free kick, Nickel takes it. Pearson flicks it on. Well over the header out. Garland is robbed by Patterson. 
Samuels quickly reaching for Worthington. He's got the better then of Worthington, of uh, Greenough. Worthington off Greenough. Little chip and look for Earl. Well, that's the second time at least that Steve Earl has had balls knocked into his head. Balls that he normally punishes with much more accuracy. First time Worthington had a bit of luck against Brian Greenough. Good cross. Steve Earl, time to pick his spot, picked it badly. Jimmy Nichol left free. Jimmy Greenoff. Nichol again. Look for his cross ball. Weller whacks it out. As far as Rofe, little toe poke up to Worthington. It is indeed a United ball. And Brian Greenoff sets United in motion again. Gonna try one. Drove it into Samuels. Goes Coppell. That looked like handball. It's given. It's a penalty. The shot charged down. It breaks loose the right side. Coppell was on the run. And Dennis Rope is the man who is the judge to have handled it. And Rope is livid. Captain of Leicester. Played a super game so far. Jerry Daly, two penalties in his six goals this season, is now looking for the equaliser. Rofe can still not believe it. Just a question of whether he thought the ball played his hand or whether he played the ball. But the referee is adamant. It's a penalty. Jerry Daly wants to take it. Asking Mr. Weller, would he mind standing out of the way? Here goes Daly. Just... second half. They're worth 1-1. Uh, possibly a bit of shame that it had to come from the penalty spot.